lips of those that rose up against me and their devise against me all the day. Be hold their sitting down and their rising up. Said to Mattathias, on this wise, 
Thou art a ruler and an honorable and great man in the city, and strengthened with sons and brethren. Now therefore, come thou first, and fulfill the king's commandment, like as all the heathen have done, yea, and the men of Judah also, and such as remain at Jerusalem, so shalt thou and thy house be in the number of the king's friends, and thou and thy children shall be honored with silver and gold, and made many rewards. Then Mattathias answered and spake with a loud voice, Now, when he had left speaking these words, there came one of the Jews in the sight of all to sacrifice on the altar, which was at home, according to the king's commandment.
Now, when the time drew near that Mattathias should die, he said unto his sons, Now hath Paul the rebuke gotten strict, and the time of destruction, and the wrath of indignation. Now therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law, and give your life for the covenant of your fathers. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. So shall you receive great honor and an everlasting name. Was not Abraham found faithful in temptation and was imputed unto him for righteousness? Joseph, in the time of his distress, kept the commandment. It was made Lord of Egypt. Phineas, our father, and being zealous and firm, obtained the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. For fulfilling the word was made a judge in Israel. Caleb, for bearing witness before the congregation, received the heritage of the land. David, for being merciful, possessed the throne of an everlasting kingdom. Elias, for being zealous and fervent, for the law was taken up into the heavens. Ananias, Azariah, and Mishael, by believing, were saved out of the flame. For his innocency was delivered from the mouth of lions. And thus consider ye throughout all ages, that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. Fear not then the words of a simple man, for his glory shall be done and work. Today he shall be lifted up, and tomorrow he shall not be found, because he has returned into his death, and his thought is come to nothing. Wherefore, ye my sons, be ye valiant, and show yourselves men in the behalf of the law. For by it shall ye obtain glory. And behold, I know that your brother Simon is a man of counsel. Give ear to him always, for he shall be a father unto you. As for Judas Maccabees, he has been martyred and strong, even from his youth up. Let him be a captain and fight the battle of the people. Take also unto you all those that observe the law, and avenge ye the wrong of your people. Recompense fully the heathen, and take heed to the commands of the law. So he blessed them. was gathered to his fathers. And he died in the 146th year. And his sons buried him in the sepulchres of his fathers and Moab. And all Israel Black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.